Hello everybody, Dan here. Welcome back to Daily Soap Dish. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below because we cover a ton of 90 Day Fiance right here on the channel. Let's get right into it, guys. So today's story is one that we have spoken about a little bit in the past, and this is about Nicole Navdiger. Now, as you guys know, Nicole and her ex, Azante Fu, were featured on 90 Day Fiance a long time ago. It's been many years since we last saw these two. Now, since then, Nicole has always been stirring up controversy online, and the reason for that is because she posts a lot of nonsensical clickbait stuff, and she gets called out on it, and recently she started going straight down into the gutter and posting some really abhorrent and kind of very disgusting and troubling stuff, uh, mainly stuff that has to do with people's deaths. She's been posting stuff about hinting at Azan's death, uh, at her daughter's death and just now hinting at her own death and so people are really getting fed up of it and uh, people are calling out nicole slamming her hard for doing this and at this point most people know her game they know that she's doing this for attention and people are calling her out on it but nicole still seems to be doing this uh and she like i said she is really stirring up a lot of controversy so let's look at exactly what is going on with nicole and then we'll discuss so Nicole Navziger sinks to a new low with uh, her latest fake death announcement. This is just her latest because there's been a couple of other fake death announcements that she's made before. So Nicole discuss fans by faking her own death on social media. Her followers are being misled into thinking that she died. So her clickbait posts on Instagram hint at death and sickness and these posts they have made fans very angry fans are calling out nicole for using her social media platform to share misleading fake news and information about herself really and uh, allegedly doing it for financial gain now despite fans' previous support nicole has lost all credibility by resorting to deceptive posts instead of sharing her real life updates and this is the part that gets to me. I don't understand this. And and I know Nicole has a lot of haters, but she still has a pretty large following. If we are to take this at face value, and you never know with these 90 Day Fiance stars, because not all 90 Day Fiance stars have organic followings on social media. Some have fake followers. Some have many, many fake followers. I can think of a couple that have some really big, huge numbers uh, and they don't get the engagement that you think that those numbers would, uh, namely um, Yara Zaya and also Anfisa Arkipchenko. Anfisa is she has over a million followers, but her posts don't do that well. So I've always wondered how many fake bots that she bought uh, to follow her on social media. So if we take this at face value, uh, she has a pretty large following, and she could use that to create positive engaging content and even try to make money in meaningful ways that could impact other people's lives but instead she is resorting to the low of the low which is basically posting the most disgusting stuff that she can on social media in the hopes that people will click on it and that maybe she will then make some money it's uh really i don't know it's a very puzzling behavior in my opinion so let's see what it says here nicole naftiger's new social media post left fans feeling shocked as she implied that she's dead. Nicole is a single mom from Florida, and she started in 90 Day Fiance Season 4 with her Moroccan partner, Hassam Amruni, a.k.a. Azan Tefu, as uh, everybody knows him by. It was easy to see that Azan didn't love Nicole when he body shamed her and was reportedly involved with other women. Now, rumors suggested Azan even had a secret wife and kids after her exit from the show. Nicole has been sharing ridiculous clickbait posts on social media pages to you know in the hopes of making a quick buck nicole's now been posting regular updates that have so far hinted at azan's death or her daughter may being unwell and uh, this is what she shared right here always nicole oh devastated to confirm that she has died link in bio and um i don't know guys i just you know like I'm not sure if I really fully believe in karma, but if there is karma, guys, I would be worried to post this kind of stuff. I'd be worried to try to trick people into believing that I died or that my family members died or someone important to me died. I would just 
you know, I, I'd just be scared that I'd be tempting fate. I, I don't think it's worth it. I, I just, I don't know. I, I don't get it. I don't understand why someone would be doing this. And she's been doing this for a while. And in the last video we did about this, guys, maybe you guys watched it. And, and if you didn't, uh, if you missed that video, um, in that video, Nicole explained this by saying that certain sites or certain companies would pay her money to use her social media, mainly her Instagram account, to post these clickbait stories. Now, Nicole said that she herself had no idea what these stories were and that these companies would basically have freedom to post whatever they wanted on her social media account and try to get clicks and drive traffic to those pages. And she said she had absolutely no idea this was her defense. But the reason why this doesn't make sense is because this is not new with Nicole. This has been going on for years now. And she's gone and, you know, uh, she's gone a lot of flack for this in the past. She obviously knows what kind of content, if this is true, and I don't buy it, but if it's true that other people or companies or sites or whoever post on her social media accounts, if that's true, she obviously knows the kind of content that they post or that they're going to post because they have posted the same kind of content before, but I don't believe that's true. I think Nicole manages her accounts and I think that, um, you know, it, it gets the okay from her and she doesn't mind because she does get a kickback from it. It's just very disgusting to me to be hinting at people's deaths. Now, of course, it's not the first time that we see this kind of, this kind of stuff. And, and I hate, I hate to give this person even one minute of airtime but um if you guys know josh cider he is a nobody in the 90 day fiance world he appeared once on the bachelor red for one episode and he has tried to date every single person on the 90 day fiance cast male and i mean female and i i think he's even said that he's gay and i think that he hooked up with karini uh karini martins and uh he faked his death just a couple of months ago and after that paul stale also kind of went missing and Karini put out a cryptic post, basically hinting that he was dead as well. So this is not the first time that people do this kind of thing. But generally, if you guys look at who's been doing it, a lot of the times it's probably the sickest people in the franchise that do this kind of stuff. Paul and Karini, the most toxic, uh, dysfunctional couple that we have uh, ever seen. Of course, Josh Sider has his own problems. Uh, as well but i like i said i don't want to give him too much airtime because he has really not all that much to do with any of the fiance anyways um and let's take a look at what else it says here so nicole shared a picture of herself in black and white of course to add to the effect right that's why she's sharing black and white like this person is no more it's not in color it's black and white because nicole is dead that's what she's trying to say right that's what everybody that is looking at this would understand from her using black and white R.I.P. Devastated to confirm she has died. Nicole also added three broken heart emojis and a hashtag suggesting fans could visit the link in her Instagram bio for details. Now, the link leads to an article about celebrity deaths from 2022 on a suspicious website filled with ads. Nicole's Instagram activity has offended her followers who expected her to share live updates. Nicole, make sure to keep her comments on these scam posts turned off. She knows that angry fans would otherwise flood the comment section to call her out. However, fans still find a way to reach out to Nicole, whether she reads their messages or not. Fans have been slamming Nicole in her post from August 2023, and one user wrote that she stopped posting these clickbaits. You're not dead, just broke. What is wrong with you? Older comments are from similarly disappointed fans who have expressed disgust at Nicole using her even her little daughter to try to scam them. This is just the most vile behavior possible. Uh, and uh, there's just no excusing it. I don't know. Can, can you guys find an excuse for this? Like, is there any way that we can explain this without, you know, slamming Nicole? I, I, I can't I can't for the life of me understand this. Like, I don't understand why someone would do something like this. Nicole had asked for prayers in, in her last post for a daughter as expected. There was nothing wrong with May. In fact, the article that Nicole wanted fans to click on might not have been about her daughter at all. Nicole has implied that Azan has died multiple times through her social media. There was even speculation at one point that Nicole had created and was operating Azan's Instagram account. Nicole has been desperate to make money, but she hasn't revealed to fans if she's fallen on hard times. Now, instead of using her IG to share 
what she's up to in 2024, which I do think that fans would like to, to know more about. Nicole has resorted to sharing misleading posts that are linked to ancient articles and don't answer anything about her life or 90 Day Fiance. Her older posts show that fans were genuinely interested in seeing Nicole succeed. They were following her for her weight loss updates and cheered for her when she posted photos with her daughter. But she has let her supporters down time and time again. So let me know what you guys think about all of this. So the story is is no longer um, available. I guess it's a, it's a little older than a day now. But you guys let me know what you think about all of this. Do you think that in the realm of, you know, like online social media content and, you know, we've dealt with a bunch of cloud chasers. We're, we're dealing really with an increasing flow of the most thirst, thirstiest, <laughs> desperate cloud chasing scammers that we have ever seen from Jabrium, Miona Bell to basically almost everybody that's new that's coming on the show. People are more desperate and thirsty than ever for publicity and they'll fake anything to just be on the show to be on our tv and try to get clout and try to get following on social media so it's a it's an interesting time that we live in um and uh, a lot of people just don't really see the issue with lying and misleading fans on social media for personal gain so i don't know i do i i think this is wrong but you guys let me know what you think about this is this just the absolute most vile thing that somebody can do and it's not just about her faking her own death. This is not really, you know, it's not even the worst post, in my opinion, that she's put up. I think faking her own daughter or hinting that she was deadly ill uh, or sick or on her deathbed or dead uh, or that Azan was dead. I think those are even worse uh, in some ways than this, um, especially her daughter kind of using her daughter that way as a pawn in this kind of social media thing where she's trying to make a quick buck. I think that's just completely disgusting. But you guys will let me know. Maybe, I don't know, maybe times are changing and anybody can do anything on the internet and that's just the way it is. I, I just, I don't see it that way. I don't understand why Nicole will be doing this. I think Nicole, and I, and I do agree that, you know, in, in the piece that we just went over, people were very interested by Nicole. This is why she has a large following because when Nicole and Azan were on the show, the show, let's be honest, guys, this is just the truth. The show was a lot hotter. It was a lot more happening. It was more interesting than it is nowadays. It was also a little more real. And uh, the drama was more real. People were more interested uh, in, you know, storylines like Nicole and Azan. And so for that reason, I do think that she ha does have, or at least had a large following, but she hasn't used it properly she should be using it in a positive way not a negative way not taking her fans and the people that follow her and support her for fools and absolute idiots and morons once you do that you lose the support that you had and then no one really cares about you anymore and no one wants to really see you succeed because they just think that you're now a pretty horrendous person and even people that were on her side and not on Azan's side are now kind of turning against her. So you guys let me know what you think about all this in the comment section down below. Hope you guys did enjoy this update about Nicole, Naftiger, and a little bit about Azan as well. Please give the video a big thumbs up. If you did, hit that subscribe button down below for more content right here on the channel. And I will see you guys very soon. Take care.